Hi, I'm Mr. Sissy and in this video, I'm going to take everyone to see the story of 10 shocking discoveries of deep sea divers, so where are they? Let's see together. Number 10 Heraklion And what you see here is a replica of the city of Heraklion. I in the past, viewers, but now it has become a place that was sunk under the ocean about 1,200 years ago, discovered in 2001 by a team of explorers who came here to find a French warship believed to be immersed in this area but instead of encountering warships, as you think, the explorer team found a well-stored underwater city, naturally and far from the robbers who seized the opportunity to make that city still full. Buildings and treasures by interesting finds include ancient temples, large statues of pharaohs, and statues of various gods, including inscriptions in Greek and Egyptian and many coffins, and that's not enough. In this city, there are 64 shipwrecks and more than 700 anchors, which is evidence of well, this city is very likely to be a large port before. The statues discovered in that city are believed to be of Pharaoh Nekoboi, probably painted in the span of 378 years. BC, sure enough, but in fact, the city of Heraklion. It was previously mentioned by the ancient Greek historian Herodotus, claiming that Heraklion, yes, it was the first city that Herlaris stepped on in Egypt, but anyway, all the time, Heraklion was believed to be only a legend told by the ancients until it was discovered. Number 9 found a 300-year-old shipwreck. This is a photo of a team of marine explorers from the WHOI Institute who discovered a huge ancient Spanish shipwreck more than 600 meters deep in the waters of Colombia in the Caribbean Sea. Using an unmanned submersible called the Limit 6000, it has a long-range sonar sensor system, a technology used to survey the seabed when it detects foreign matter or objects being searched for. Able to record images of the underwater surface in detail and clarity allowing the Boho Explorer team to be able to find the wreck. The ship was able to detect suspicious artifacts in the depths that appeared to be ancient bronze cannons, leading to the discovery of large shipwrecks and artifacts in its surroundings. In the sea, in the year 1701, this large ship named San Jose was attacked by British warships with cannon fire. Until it crashed into the sea with more than 600 crew members the San Jose wreck was discovered in November 2015 but the location where the explorers found the wreck is still kept a secret. Because the government of Colombia and the Spanish government both claim ownership over the San Jose shipwreck. It is estimated that inside the San Jose wreck, there will be ancient treasures of great value, such as bronze cannons and antique ceramic wares, silver, gold, and precious stones. Number 8 Giant Jellyfish, Human-Sized and here's a picture of a diver encountering a Balan jellyfish swimming under the sea off the southwest coast of England. By these slender, British biologists are exploring the seas off the coast of England for a week to film a documentary on the Viosian Week campaign, and daily revealed that the jellyfish was over one. Five meters long, or about the size of her body was a very large jellyfish, and it was extremely exciting to meet a jellyfish of this size. Yes, the sea is close. For barrel jellyfish, is considered the largest jellyfish species in the world that can be found in the British Sea. But there are almost no divers in. A large body like this has been found before by the barrel jellyfish. The average adult size can be longer than 1 meter and weigh 25 kilograms, and they are often washed ashore to die. Along the coast, as there is often enough news to see each other. Number 7 Underwater Canal as we all know that diving is one of the most popular adventures in the world that divers expect to find new things in the water, where they go to explore, but diving at this Cenote Angelista in Mexico, with a depth of about 30 meters, they will be stunned by the underwater landscape that is not like anyone else in the world that looks like a long fog house, similar to the fog that comes up from the morning stream, and there are also two trees clinging to the shore under the water. This is another wonder of nature in the world because, from an underwater landscape like no other in the world, plus a waterlogged vertical nature, the sight to the diver's eyes is truly bizarre. And it seems like a miraculous mixture. I can't say that there will be a large number of spring leaves, similar to the forest and the area. Kumbua and the morale of the steam will cover the north, singing from the clear water that is overlapped above, but in truth, what is like the river below it is hydrogen sulfide or hydrogen sulfide which is produced by the long-term accumulation of animal debris that is decomposed by bacteria. 
It appears at depths of about 30 to 34 meters it is divided between fresh water above and salt water below. About 57.5 meters, it can be called an amazing underwater discovery. Number 6 found the remains of a squadron of fighter planes under the sea. The Daily Mail has reported that a squadron of fighter planes that were attacked during World War II was found sunk under the southern Pacific Ocean in the Solomon Islands area, where the plane crashed. Full of rust and coral due to being submerged under the sea for a long time. By a Canadian photographer, I explored the depths of the sea until he came across objects that are not commonly found in the sea because these planes are built. There are still signs of war not seen by a squadron of fighter planes. It was shot down in 1943, during World War II, and consisted of Japanese Mitsubishi F-2 aircraft, as well as Boeing B-17 heavy bombers and Grumman fighters. The US F-6S, whose wreckage was submerged at 56 meters under the sea and covered with a large amount of coral, left the image of a fighter that performed a heroic action during the Great War of the United States. World in the Past Number 5 The Diver Found a Treasure it is said that the stories of treasure hunts that we have heard must be the childhood dreams of many men that one day we will have to go on an adventure to various places in search of relics or gold hidden somewhere of this world but when we grow up understand these things that it is a dream of a drought but if you say that it's not right because at this time elita is scuba diving when he stumbles upon a treasure trove of gold coins aboard a spanish warship that sank on july 31st 1715 off the coast of Ford, just north. Of the army's leaves only 130 miles, with all the treasure he found, 51 gold coins of various agencies, and a luxury gold chain over 40 feet long, estimated to be worth more than $1 million. I can say that I'm extremely lucky. Rich, this job. Number 4 City Lion and what everyone sees here is an ancient city that was established in 208 AD during the Eastern Han Dynasty that had to become an underworld after the Chinese government decided to build a hydroelectric power plant at the Xi'anan River Dam. Came in the year 1959, and water was released to collect in the area until it became Siantao Lake, or Thousand Island Lake which covers an area of more than 573 square kilometers this lush mountain is flooded into thousands of islets. It has beautiful scenery and is one of the important tourist attractions. Of Zhejiang province today, however, besides the ancient city the dam construction of the power plant at that time also caused the sinking of more than 1,377 cities, towns, villages, nearly 50, 000 acres of farmland, and thousands of homes. This place has become a forgotten city until the officials in charge of tourism. He invited divers from Beijing to help him explore the world under the lake for the first time in 2001, and what the divers discovered was an ancient city that was almost completely underwater despite submerging 26 deep, up to 40 meters for more than 50 years, but the buildings in the city are still complete, whether it is a gate with up to 265 gates, a city gate with 5 fortifications, or even a street paved with limestone. The columns, wooden chairs, and elaborate stone carvings are still intact and since then this ancient city has become a hot dive site for many diving clip organizer associations. They take tourists to dive to visit some places. Even though they have to prepare a submarine to serve tourists, they are still not allowed to use it because they are afraid that this ancient underwater city may be damaged. Number 3 Orta Cave it is said that this Odeska cave is the longest underwater cave in Russia and the second longest in Eurasia. It is one of the important discoveries in the study of with the underwater cave system in Russia. This cave is located in the depths of the Kazakh drug trade mountains. And more importantly, the mouth of the cave is located on the southern slope of the valley with a width of about 5 meters and a height of about 2 meters the length of the tank is measured from both the dry and the lake. 4,400 meters by 4,000 meters is the part that is underwater, and the height along the line is about 43 meters, but recently, there have been underwater journalists and photographers. National Geographic's famous Victor Lightcolkat along with his crew and divers explored this cave in sub-zero temperatures and captured some stunning images due to the water in the cave. It's very clear, the audience is so annoyed that we can hardly even see the water. Therefore, we can see the scenery inside the cave thoroughly. 
which can be seen clearly up to a distance of 50 meters. Number 2 Yanaguni As for the sea, Yanaguni is well known as a place where tourists can meet hammerhead sharks from around the world in small numbers because here there is a chance to encounter sharks. It's the hammerhead that has more than 100 that come out to swim in the middle of the sea, especially in the water south of New Zasaki, which is on the west side of the island, making this place the sea that divers from all over the world dream of and the opportunity to meet the sharks that topic is very high in November body it's April but if it's outside of this time, there are still some other dive sites that are quite popular, such as the J Underwater Ruins, the Palace of Light, and the W Arch, which are visited by many divers throughout the year. A huge monstrosity with a total length of about 100 meters and a width of about 60 meters and a height of about 25 meters is buried beneath the sea of Yanaguni Island. How did these monoliths happen? Because to this day, we are still exploring each other with the map identifying the places themselves still in the process of making, and there are still ruins that have not yet been discovered. Knowing and not knowing whether it is a natural occurrence, or a man-made structure. Number 1 Anaconda Snake, Length 7 Meters The last story that everyone will be able to see, is the story of an underwater snake. Take underwater photos and video clips underwater. He published a video clip that he had entered the water and met with the anaconda giant snake in the river in Brazil. Looking for divers closely, the kind that can see every scale of the snake. This snake is the largest species of snake in the world called the green anaconda and the body in this clip should be many years old. The point where Bartomeu meets this anaconda is a river called Formdo that runs through the forest. In southern Brazil, however, this giant anaconda seems to be just swimming around in the water showing no signs of attention to human divers taking pictures of it nearby. In addition, it also swims in to look at the box closely for a while before it swims away, which on the Bartomeu's side states that the anaconda can only be found in South America and it usually swims under the water from the Amazon River down, in fact, people can swim in the water close to it, which is the best time when it just wakes up from hibernation, which is from the end of July until the beginning of August, however, he does not recommend following it anyway, but if you do you dare to do this?